on your side. This is NBC 12 News at 430 on CW Richmond. You're taking a live look at first alert Doppler radar. Storms are rolling into central Virginia for the second day in a row. And some parts of the viewing area are already seeing severe weather. Strong storms and winds are expected to last over the next few hours. That's why today is a first alert weather day. Meteorologist Ross Runner now tracking the very latest for us. We saw down power lines and some outages last night. Are we in for more of the same? Uh, we're hoping not, Brent. The possibility is going to be there. Some scattered storms and some of them have been producing some really big wind gusts. In fact, we have now to a crime alert in the fan. Richmond police tell us a woman is in the hospital after being stabbed in an attempted robbery. Police say the victim was walking in the 2400 block of West Main Street when she was approached by the suspect. She was stabbed during that encounter, but she is expected to be okay. Police have only released a vague description of the suspect. So if you saw a man wearing a navy blue hoodie around 115 this morning, detectives want to hear from you. You can call Crime Stoppers at 780-1000. A Petersburg grandmother is now out of the hospital after being shot in the chest, trying to shield young children from gunfire. We first introduced you to 63-year-old Sherry Dabney as she recovered at VCU Medical with a bullet lodged in her chest. Now, Dabney tells me life is not back to normal. She can't return to work, and the medical bills are mounting all because of this shooting. He just spared me. He got more work for me to do. With a positive attitude and a family to support her. Every time I hear something pop, I'm gone. 63-year-old Sherry Dabney is lucky to be alive. I'm getting better each day. Each day it gets better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other than that, still in a little pain. It's been a little more than two weeks now since she was injured on her own front porch. People in two cars began shooting at each other on Melville Street. Dabney's first instinct was to shield her grandchildren playing in the yard. Get my babies. I only have two great grands, and they come over here all the time. And to see their Gigi, that's what they call me, Gigi. The bullet hit her in the chest. This way it went in at, went across, and it stopped in there, inch from my heart. It's still, it's still in there. They can't do anything because if they go in there and remove it, they might harm me more. It just alters people's lives when, you, when you know, when people, when these young guys out here doing things like this. She got bills and stuff, and 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 that's piling up and stuff, and uh, she can't do anything. The doctor don't want her to do anything. One thing she can do is the very thing she's done from the beginning. From her hospital bed, she told me she forgives whoever did this. Now, she just has one request of them. But they need to get on their knees and pray to God. I get it. So he can forgive them because I have forgave them. Hmm. Police are still looking for the shooters. Meantime, Dabney's family created an online fundraiser to help pay for her medical bills. I've placed that info for you on our NBC 12 News app. Now to Washington, where President Trump has signed an executive order to keep families together at the U.S.-Mexico border. The separations were being caused by the administration's zero tolerance policy, which calls for prosecuting adults crossing the border illegally. As a result, thousands of children were taken from their parents and housed in shelters, and that sparked international outrage. Previously, the president blamed Democrats and said Congress would act, would have to act in order to stop those separations. But today, he backed off of that assertion, saying he can and will take action. The dilemma is... The president also noted that the administration would still be working with Congress to find a legislative fix to the immigration problem. All right, now to a frightening attempted abduction in Massachusetts, and it was all caught on camera. Take a look. A woman is jogging when she's suddenly attacked, but not only did she fight back, she even helped catch the suspect. So here's Kristen Dahlgren with all the details. This shot. Kristen Dahlgren reporting. Now, this is not the first time Lyons has faced charges of violently sexually assaulting someone. He was convicted of rape in 1978. New developments in a case we've been following for three years now. The Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control has reached a settlement with former UVA student Martise Johnson. Johnson sued state officials after his violent arrest outside of a Charlottesville bar back in 2015. A jury trial was initially set for October, but both sides agreed to settle. And under the terms of that agreement, details of that settlement cannot be released. 
ABC says this is not an admission of wrongdoing by either party. Rescue crews are issuing a warning now to anyone planning to enjoy the James River this summer. There have been more than 50 water rescues this year alone. That's why the Richmond Fire Department is implementing what they call the Bell Owl Initiative. Three people will be stationed at Bell Owl between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. on weekends and holidays all summer long. They are also urging everyone, no matter how experienced, to wear a life jacket and stay sober when out on the water. And a trip to the lake can be a lot of fun, but there may be a hidden danger that you probably haven't even considered. Stick around. We'll have details on how crews can detect spray electrical currents in the water. Plus, it may look like a wrestling match, but parents weren't expecting this brawl to be captured on video. Find out what started it all next at 430. Parents are always told to keep an eye on their children when they're in the water, but one of the biggest threats they face can't actually be seen. We're talking about possible electric currents in the water. Lesla Gooden took a ride with first responders on Smith Mountain Lake. She's on your side with everything you need to know. Now, experts say even a low level of electric current in the water can be extremely hazardous or fatal to a swimmer. This. Take a look at that. It's like a scene out of WWE Royal Rumble. Nearly a dozen parents brawling at a Tennessee softball tournament. Witnesses say one of the parents didn't like an umpire's call and things quickly escalated. This now viral video is sparking a lot of outrage and shock with many worried about the message it's sending to children. I don't know what they hope to accomplish. Thanks to the actions of their parents, both North Carolina teams were disqualified. They were also banned from participating in the Tennessee tournament. Effective immediately, the nation's fourth largest air carrier has new rules when it comes to bringing your pets on board. Under the new policy, only cats and dogs will be accepted, and 21 dog breeds and four cat breeds will not be allowed to fly on United Airlines. Pets will also be banned from flying when the ground temperature is below 45 degrees or above 85 degrees. United put the new bans in place after a number of high-profile incidents in recent months, including one where a dog died after being placed in an overhead bin. To see more on the updated policy, visit the United Airlines website. This summer in Petersburg, kids can get free breakfast and lunch at several locations across the city. The mills are open to all children, 18 and under, and they don't need any paperwork. The service started earlier this week and continues through August 24th, but the locations and times do change, so you can find a full list on our NBC 12 News app. An urgent reminder now, experts urge do not leave your pets outside during these hot summer months. If it's too hot for you, it's too hot for your pets. Earlier this week, a dog died at a Danville shelter after it suffered a heat stroke. So we're on your side with tips to keep your pet safe in this sweltering heat. The SBCA recommends if you can't keep your pet inside, make sure they have a shaded spot. Keep cold water accessible at all times. Do not walk your dogs on hot pavement. They can burn their paw pads. And if you get your dog shaved, remember dogs can get sunburned too. All right, if you're looking for a way to beat the heat with the kids, look no further than your local movie theater. Regal Summer Movie Express program is back. That means every Tuesday and Wednesday morning at 10, you can go see a family-friendly movie for just one buck. Some of the movies playing now include Curious George, Despicable Me, and The Lego Movie. The deal runs through August 15th. Well, no, that's not snow piling up in a Colorado neighborhood. It's piles of hail. Neighbors call it a river of hail, but it's not flowing like a river. All of the hail is clogging the sewer system there. It's two feet deep in some parts. And when one woman tried to drive through it, her car got stuck. Neighbors were there to help her out. To see our neighbor come out. Now, there's still so much hail there, the neighborhood kids came out to play on it like a snowbank. We'll go ahead and take a look at what's in prime time tonight on CW Richmond. You can watch Supergirl starting at 8 and then catch an all-new episode of The Originals at 9. And finally, no one has come forward to claim this 29-pound Himalayan cat. So now Chubbs is up for adoption. We first told you about the 10-year-old stray last week. He was found wandering the streets of California without a collar or microchip. He's an internet sensation, though. He's looking for a forever home now. Whoever takes Chubbs home will have special instructions from the vet, which includes a strict diet. All right, that's all the time we have at 4.30, but the news at 5 is just minutes away on NBC 12. Enjoy your evening.